guys, Steve here with XD Reviews, bringing you another tutorial. This time we're going to be looking at how to forward ports with an AT&T Uverse router. Let's get started. Press the Windows R key to open your run window, and type CMD. This will open your command window, and now you can type in ipconfig, no spaces. Scroll up to your wireless LAN adapter wireless network connection, and write down your default gateway or just leave the box open so you can look at it later. Now open a browser and type that number in in your URL box. Now go to Settings, Firewall, Applications, Pinholes, and DMZ, and here's what we're looking for. If you're on a router that's not an AT&T Uverse router, uh, navigating to this may be slightly different, but the concepts will be the same. So now we're going to click Add a New User Defined Application. This window should look the same for any router. So for a name, just enter a relevant name. And now you need your port information. Google the game or the application you're trying to forward ports for, and just add port information after it, and you should get plenty of hits. Enter that information here, and press Add to List. I leave map to host port blank and protocol timeout as the default. Once you click add to list, it should say configuration successful. At this point, if you're using an AT&T Uverse router, you'll have to enter a numerical code. This can be found on the bottom of your router. Once you've done that, you should be navigated back to this menu. Scroll through the applications list and look for the name of the port you just added. Once you've found it, click add and at this point you may have to type your password again. Once you've done that, it should say Configuration Successful. Go ahead and hit Save, and you're done. Thanks for watching this tutorial from XE Reviews, and subscribe for future unboxings, reviews, and tutorials.